So welcome to our another interview for Green Hydrogen Leadership TV. And now we are together with uh, Salah Mahdi, uh, who is the director of the vertical business at Hoden for hydrogen. And let's hope that at the end of the day it will be green hydrogen. Hello Thomas, nice to meet you. So Salah, it was a very exciting time uh, with you in Dubai actually, yes, when you received uh, one of the awards. And I spent also time with uh, Basha, so she explained me more about the group. But with you, as you are the boss of the hydrogen division, I would like to ask you about success stories. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Thomas. Howden is one of the companies that managed to close the gap between the ambition and the plans from one side and the reality from the other side, making a good business in the hydrogen space. Uh, successfully, uh, with a great confidence, I can say that no other companies has actually or have been engaged in such a large number of hydrogen projects globally. Uh, and not just the number, but it's also the nature of the of the projects that we uh, have been engaged in delivering our advanced solution to. Uh, for example, as you mentioned, the largest hydrogen refueling station in China, uh, the first green steel project in Sweden, uh, the the first uh, uh, e-fuel plant in the world in, uh, in in Chile. So good mix of uh, of different applications uh, have been delivered to projects worldwide as well. Uh, we are in discussion with a lot of leaders like Adam Oskrenci, like uh, Roland uh, Kappener and actually there is so a lot of uh, expenses yes from the hydrogen business but actually we don't know how to streamline all these visions. How would you streamline? How would you unite all these leaders? I think when it comes to the hydrogen it is it is nothing except creating the demand and keep the balance between the demand and the supply. The, the key thing here is really how we can manage in creating the market for the hydrogen. This is what will encourage everybody really to step in, invest more in the hydrogen space, which eventually will help us in the real purpose of all of this, which is fighting the climate change. This will be a very successful step in uh, creating more as a strong cadence for the hydrogen. And again, I think this will help a lot of key players to step in uh, and invest more in this space. You don't think that it's going to be like a bubble? I'm very confident that what we see today is not a bubble. First of all, because so far the hydrogen is the only fuel, the only known fuel, that when we burn it, it doesn't actually produce any emissions. So until actually we, the world knows another uh, similar fuel, uh, the hydrogen will be the solution for the climate change. And this is where we should actually support the hydrogen econ economy that eventually, uh, as I mentioned, will help us in, in the energy transition process in fighting the climate change. This is this how I see. And I think what's ha what has been happening on the ground uh, in all the key markets, in China, in Europe definitely, in, in, the, in, the, in the US, and you know, we have been in the, in the Middle East, we, see, we saw actually what's happening there. That tells us that it is, can't actually be a bubble. I, actually, things are moving very fast. And talking about how then, as I mentioned, you know, just last year to give you the flavor, uh, we achieved 500% year over year growth. This is real business. So it's going to be like exponential growth. Absolutely. We saw all the what we call the hydrogen roadmap issued by the Hydrogen Council last year. Talk about a step of uh, where we will see uh, a number of pilot testing projects coming in the first uh, three, five years. And then the world will move into the mega projects, the plus 100, 200 giga later. But I think uh, the, the whole process has been accelerated. And out of today, we started actually seeing real projects on the scale of the 100 megawatt actually started really to move. And this is really very promising. As we discussed before, uh, the goal of the Cleantech Business Club, of course, is, uh, you know, to unite you guys together with us and at the end of the day to have uh, exclusively green hydrogen. You think is it uh, possible? Uh, absolutely. I, I think definitely there is a room for other things to play a role in the energy transition. Uh, but from our perspective, it is indeed the green hydrogen that should have the main focus. First of all, producing the green hydrogen and then using the green hydrogen is the only thing that the only process actually that doesn't include any emissions. So while again on the short short term, definitely there will be a room for the biofuels, for other kind of fuels that will play a role in the energy transition. But green hydrogen should be the focus in the in the long term. The last question, uh, because you see, like in the CleanTech Business Club, uh, for us is very important three things: business, meaningfulness, and joy. And actually, now we would like to make contagious also the hydrogen leaders with this uh, lifestyle. Do you think it's possible? 
Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think I, um, the world hasn't seen uh, such a cadence that has created for something like what we saw in the hydrogen, right? And we see a lot of people from different uh, backgrounds interested in collaboration. Industry, academia, West, East, you know, uh, every everyone is really interested to collaborate, to talk, uh, uh, to work together. And I think we have to make a good use of this, you know, uh, putting the, uh, the the people together in one room, in one place, I think makes a, makes a lot of sense and I'm sure a lot of people actually will be interested really to, to do so. Because together we are stronger. Absolutely. <laughs> together we are stronger. And you know, in our club, uh, you remember from the event in Dubai, our, our uh, flagship sign? Yes. <laughs> Th thumbs up for solar, but also for green hydrogen. Thank you so much, Salah. Thanks a lot, Tumis. And it was our another interview for Green Hydrogen Leadership TV, together with Salah Madi, who manages hydrogen business of Howden. Thank you so much.